when I was 22 or 23 years old. I was at the darkest period of my life. Damon John, the CEO and founder of FUBU, author and motivational speaker, made an appearance on campus to share his wisdom with our students. I wasn't um, as fortunate or as smart enough as the students I'm going to speak to today because I didn't decide to go to college and I thought I was too smart for everybody. And then everybody that I thought was stupid because they were going to college, they were coming back and I was a waiter in Red Lobster serving them and they already had jobs and careers and they kind of knew where they wanted to go in life. So the students I'm going to speak to today, they already have a step up on who I was, right? So I'm going to give them as much information as I can and hopefully they'll realize that they can become bigger and better and more efficient than me because they already are more advanced at their age than what I was today at that, at that point, excuse me, in my life. Being your own boss is becoming more and more appealing to our millennial generation. The successful self-made business mogul explained what we need to know beforehand. Well, you have to try to do it with zero money, and obviously college uh, students know how to operate with little, little to zero money. Um, you have to create a following, no matter what it is. Don't try to create this big, uh, massive business immediately. Create a small following and make all your mistakes small. Utilize all the things and the materials and the, and the assets that the college has, the database, the people, um, the, the following, the events, the networking, and things of that nature. And then, you know, really after that, you have to find out if you really are good enough to want to sell this product. But as long as you have that desire and drive, you absolutely can be an entrepreneur. Damon's drive led him to write his new book, Rise and Grind, Outperform, Outwork, and Outhustle Your Way to a More Successful and Rewarding Life. In the book, I have a lot of people in there that I study, like Tyler, the creator, and Santana, and my friend um, Kyle Maynard, who climbed uh, Mount Kilimanjaro and was born with no arms and no legs, and the army climbed the whole mountain. And what I wanted to do was try to find out what are the key uh, things that different people do to make themselves more proficient. You know, I have my own couple of things that I may do, and I want to hear from Wendy Williams or Catherine Zeta-Jones or, or Tyler, the creator. And I want to put that down in a book where anybody can learn from it because at your age now, you may, um, you may relate more to Tyler, the creator. Um, maybe another 10 or 20 years from now when your life has changed and you have different responsibilities, you may relate more to Santana on how he operates his day. So I asked them all, what's the first things they do the first 90 minutes of their day, the last 90 minutes of their day, what did they do when they were 20 that now they no longer do, and what did they do when they were 20 that they have to do still today. And I found that they all do approximately the same 12 things, but they all do them in various different ways. There is no one number of an age or a bank account or a size of a house or how many people like you or hate you that determines success. Because then what do you do? Do you just die? You just go away. Damon's motivational speeches are edited with a bed of music underneath for people who want to be inspired in the car or in the gym. To download it free, text the WAVE to 44222. For Panther Report, I'm Andrea Scales.